All right, cool. So this is our latest CPAC solution. It's a universal CPAC. Uh, basically, they're smart TVs for the back seat. So both monitors, they look similar. They got a couple little nuances. So like you see here, DVD is an option on this monitor where it's not an option on there. It's because we're not focusing on DVD as the primary source for this product. This is a current product. So people today are streaming. So both systems include Android operating systems built in. 8.1 is the OS level. That gives the consumer the ability to go to the app store, download whatever apps they want. They can, they can download apps on this monitor that are independent and different than these, but it gives both monitors the capability of streaming content. So today's world, you know, me as a user, I use Netflix, I use Prime Video. You know, some users use Hulu or some of the other streaming services that are out there. Now, instead of having to connect the phone and then bring content through the phone and stream it over that way, you can stream directly into the units. Some of the other attributes of the system is, again, it's kitchen sink as far as what it could do because of any tech level. Say you have someone that has a hard drive full of content and they want to plug it into the USB. We have that capability. They keep content on an SD card. There's an SD card on both systems that do that as well. You could share content between the two screens both wired and wirelessly. So if I wanted to have a DVD play here and watch it on the other monitor, I could simply hit dual screen and they could share content. That's going through the wires of the system. Now, I could also do it wirelessly. So I could set up one monitor to be a transmitting monitor, one monitor to be a receiving monitor. Device name for this monitor is gonna pop up on here. And then as soon as it becomes available, you click on it, It'll go through its connecting process, and now I could share content between the monitors wirelessly. And by go wirelessly, it also sends it in high depth. So you get a little bit crisper of an image. So outside of the source options that are available, we also built in the ability to send over-the-air updates. So if we want to improve the system, or we have little bug fixes that we want to enhance the system, Instead of having to have the consumer go back to the retailer, we could push out an over-the-air update. The consumer's gonna get a little notification that says update available. They'll go in, click yes to download the update, and then the units will be up and running to their maximum potential. It takes any obsolescence risk or functionality out of the equation for the retailer because I can push updates directly to the consumer. But the coolest feature of the unit is the fact that we developed our own app for Apple and Android, it's called VoxLink. So what that enables us to do is you have the connectivity in the back seat, but now we add an element of convenience for mom and dad or grandma and grandpa in the front seat. So when you have that small child in a car seat that can't interact with the unit, I can now see the monitors, select the monitor I want to control, and now it's mimicking the screen. So without having to see that, I can control source menu, I can go into a prime video, select a movie and have that movie play on the screen. It's not that I'm sending and wirelessly streaming the content to the monitor. The monitor is, is actually picking up the content. I'm just controlling it. And then via my phone, I could see what's going on in the back seat. So no more do you have to stop the car, pull over, reach around, play with a remote to try to change sources or play content. You can control all that from the front seat without having to see the actual monitor. That's a unique feature that we developed and only Vox has it. In addition to that, we developed a patented universal bracket system. So for 85% of vehicles out there that have seat post guides that go into the actual seat back, our bracket will mount underneath those seat post guides so it doesn't obstruct the movement of the factory headrest. One structured seat with 30-way power system. So in those cases, we developed specialty brackets for those applications. That allows us to pick up the other 15% of applications that don't have seat post guides. So you would use either our out-of-the-box bracket assembly with additional accessories to make those installations happen. So that's pretty much it. It's got standard uh, dual-channel IR headphones. Uh, so you have A, B channels, built-in FM transmitter capabilities. The installation is simple. It's two post cables go through the seat to a T harness. So no big bulky control boxes or interface modules. A T-harness power ground and audio video out. So if you had audio in on a factory head unit, 
then you could feed direct audio right to the factory system without having to go through FM transmission. So again, soup to nuts, kitchen sink of rear seat entertainment, every conceivable feature that a consumer could want. Again, focusing on today's smart TV consumer, taking that smart TV experience in the home right to the back seat. Sounds great. How do they learn more about it? Where can they pick it up? You can buy it through traditional 12 volt retail or at your car dealer. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.